It's August 20th out here in the Columbus, Wisconsin Research and Educational Property. Uh, using my Frost 50-gallon uh, uh, tank, 20-foot boom, 7-gallon per minute pump. Uh, using Stinger. I've never used Stinger on brassicas before as a trial. Doing it this year. We're at three weeks post-plant. A couple things that I point out. Some guys will get nervous about applying liquids. Here's the tracks. And again, usually within a week, they're gone. I got a lot of uh, Pennsylvania smart weed, some pig weed, some giant rig weed, um, and a little bit of smart weed out here. Giving you a little overview here of the different blocks. Um, so we do have some uh, broadleaves, predominantly broadleaves out here, hardly any grasses. Um, and so what I'm doing is I'm basically doing this trial to test um, uh, 16 different brassica varieties to see if any are uh, susceptible, any have any adverse reactions to stinger herbicide. Like any herbicide, though, I need to have words of caution. There's always plant back restrictions. There's a lot of plants we got to, uh, forages we got to wait a ton and a half months or more before you can come back and replant it. So, again, like a lot of other these uh, herbicides, uh, new herbicides, you need to really read the label closely. So, just giving you a little scan here. Um, even though it looks like there's a quite a few broadleaves, uh, the plant population is not extreme. Um, I suffer in some areas here, but for the most part, a really good stand three weeks of post plant after brassicas. We also uh, foliar fed at the same time here with my 1149. So, again, uh, 1149, three week foliar feeding, which is your magic date to come back and foliar feed plant, post plant. And then again, trying to control some of these broadleaves by using a herbicide application with Stinger. John O'Brien, Grand Prairie Outdoors.